No, I don't waste no time. Hi there guys and welcome to a new video. It's been a while since I've uploaded a YouTube video, but to be fair, I think the last one was um, the Italy vlogs, if I'm not mistaken. So in April, I went to Sicily. We started off in Palermo and then sort of slowly made our way to Tormina um, and I uploaded two vlogs about that, sort of day in life videos on how I managed to run an agency and basically live life on my own terms simultaneously um, so you know if you feel like checking that out make sure you do and um, but then from that point onwards i haven't uploaded a youtube video which is i think about two weeks now which is uh, unlike me but uh, the reason for that is because i launched lifestyle design mastery 3.0 which is my latest version on Lifestyle Design Mastery, how you can start, build, and scale your very own social media marketing agency. So basically you offering advertising services to business all around the world um, so that you can work from your laptop, live life on your own terms, and earn money online. Um, the program is completely done with you, which means that we work on your agency together. So it's not just some generic course um, where you follow along, there's, there's no support or anything like that. Um, you know, this is very hands-on. It's literally, you know, you, me in group form um, where we work together. We, um, you're basically surrounded with a lot of like-minded people in the program. And I'm very, very proud of the results that uh, people that are in the program are getting with so far, but also just, you know, very proud of the way it's turned out. I'm getting a lot of good feedback on it as well. So um, that is basically what I've been doing for the last two weeks whilst balancing, of course, uh, the, the restructuring of the agency. Um, if you guys remember my video, um, I'll probably link it below where I basically spoke about the goals for this year with the agency. I obviously mentioned that I'm going to be restructuring a lot of it so that it's not just dependent on me signing more clients. So I want to get out of this phase where if I want to make more money with the agency, I need to sign more clients. And how we're doing that is with a lot of back-end deals, revenue shares, and performance-based deals as well. So because I am so confident in the results that we are getting for our clients, because it's me running the ads, um, it's actually more beneficial for me to rather than just offer the retain on the front end to actually get a percentage of the revenue, a percentage of the page conversion value, a percentage of the profit and so on and so forth. And that way I can grow alongside my clients and I don't need to constantly be in the trenches trying to find more clients uh, for my agency because I want to grow the business. Um, but anyway, for those of you that are in Lifestyle Design Mastery 3, obviously you guys have the whole blueprint on how to do this, how I've structured the deals and you know all the templates, etc. that you need to do the same. You've got all that at your disposal. But for those that aren't in the program, I just want to give you guys a bit of a breakdown on how I think you should be able to easily achieve 30,000 months, uh, you know, whether that's yours, pounds, dollars, you know, it doesn't really matter but 30K months for your agency, how you can do that. And by the end of this video, you will probably think to yourself, that was very, very simple. You know, it's, it's not nitty gritty. There's no inner sentence to all of this. And that's how I like to keep things nice and simple because simplicity scales and complexity fails. I've spoken to a lot of people about all of this and it's those that have multiple tiers and all these, these structures, etc. those are the people that end up becoming a bottleneck within their own business. And it's the ones that just double down on simplicity. Those are the ones that go furthest. So the first very important thing that you need for consistent 30K months is an irresistible offer. And that is also the reason why I've restructured my agency. There are so many agencies out there that are saying, okay, well, you know, you, you pay us upfront and an upfront monthly fee, and then, you know, that's excluding the ad spend. And then from that point onwards, we run the ads, whether it works or not, you know, that's obviously a risk on your end, but regardless, we get paid that monthly fee. Now, back in 2018, 2019, that was obviously, you know, quite a good deal because there was potential on the back end that you could be making more than that. So the agency uh, gets a thousand, the client spends that thousand, so invests that thousand into the agency, they spend an additional thousand into ads, 
and they could potentially make four or five, you know, maybe even ten thousand back, which is still possible. You know, it's still a, a, a it's, it's still likely that that happens. But there are so many agencies out there because of all these guru courses that aren't really teaching people how to get results. A lot of people are getting clients and then losing the clients a month later. So for you, that one thousand, uh, that one thousand, you know, sort of upfront deal is is good. But for the client, it's not. The client's going to get burned. The client's not going to be likely to work with another agency or definitely not with you anytime soon. So by creating that irresistible offer, which is you know essentially a no-brainer for these clients, you'll notice that your conversion rate will go up. So you'll sign more clients, you'll close more deals because the offer is better for them. And yes, that might mean that you need to start looking into how to actually get results for your clients, which in my opinion, you should be doing anyway. If you don't have an A player media buyer and you're just outsourcing it to someone for cheap and cheerful on Upwork or anything like that, then you are first of all drastically doing something wrong. And second of all, your whole agency has an expiration date, okay? You cannot be doing this in 2022. Uh, you can't, you shouldn't be able to do this anyway, but obviously, you know, you have been probably been able to get away with it uh, for the last few years, but no more is that the case, okay? So number one, create an irresistible offer. Then number two, which also ties into number one, is price high ticket, okay? Charge more for your service. And now you think, but you just told me to make an irresistible offer and now you tell me to charge more for that offer. Yes, those two go hand in hand. By charging higher ticket, you will attract a different type of client. You will attract someone that can afford high ticket, afford someone that already has that product market fit and someone that is in the abundance mindset. Okay, it, you need to move away from startups, people that don't have that product market fit, people that don't have a lot of money to spend, and you need to start focusing on helping winners win more. Okay, and yes, you know, maybe there's a startup where, you know, they are in line with what you wanna do, and it seems like an easy close for you because they're starting out, you're starting out, and you think that you'll be able to get them good results because any result is better than no result, but that is actually not the case it's much, much easier to help clients that are already up and running, that are already in the process of scaling their business to scale further because everything they already have has been proven. You know, that is optimized for, you know, a certain conversion. You know that the ads that they are providing you with, the creative that, you, that they are providing you with, the copy they are providing you with has already been tried and tested, whereas the beginners don't have any data to go off. So it's much, much easier to go for winning clients and help them win more than it is to focus on the startups. And with those winning clients, you can charge more. And by charging more, you will earn more and you'll also be able to give them more energy and more attention because you don't need to have 20, 30 clients to get up to that same amount of monthly care and revenue if you only have a few clients that are high ticket. Okay, so number one, create an irresistible offer. Number two is obviously price it high end. And then number three is follow a very simple organic marketing or organic attraction method. Okay, there are so many videos out there on how to do outreach, you know, how to get clients, etc. But if you break it down, it's just about getting in touch with, you know, as many people as possible and promoting or you know pitching your irresistible offer okay so don't overthink this i'm currently doing a outreach challenge within the lifestyle design mastery group and my outreach methods are cold email and cold dms and i'm predicting to basically bring in another six figures which is you know, roughly 8k a month uh, just by doing this just by doubling down on those two methods and basically i want to prove to those in the group that it is possible it's, it's just consistency and it's also the discipline to do all of this. But with that said, do not do anything that a robot can do, okay? So where you can automate, where you can outsource, where you can systemize, definitely do so. When I say organic outreach, I'm not meaning you in the DMs manually one by one messaging these companies. I'm, I'm basically saying, you know, find an organic method that you can scale and automate so that you don't need to rely on ads. And ads are a great way to augment what is already working, but obviously when you're just starting out, you don't wanna be running ads right away for your agency. You wanna know that your offer is proven before you do so. Okay, and then moving on to step number four. So like I said, one was creating an irresistible offer. Number two was pricing a high ticket. Number three is follow a simple organic outreach method. Number four is master your sales okay now obviously this comes over time you know the, the more you do it the better you'll get at it but for those of you that want to know how i do it i've actually got a two-step close 
explainer video on my YouTube channel, which I will also link below as well, that explains exactly how we do it and exactly how we set, you know, basically ourselves up for success. And it has to do with marketing versus sales. So we do a lot of marketing on the front end so that less selling is needed on those actual calls. So when they book a call with us, we show them testimonials, we show them results that we've gotten previous clients in the past on the thank you page of our Canally. And by doing so, they already see what you know we are capable of. And we don't anymore get the question, we don't get the question like, uh, can, can I see references? Can I see uh, portfolio material? Can I see past results? Because we've already given to, that to them before the call. And this also makes it easy to go for the one call close, but the two call close for us is set in place so that we can vet the client rather than vice versa. So we actually do the two call close for us rather than for them, if that makes sense. Okay, then lastly is to go above and beyond to save your clients. I already touched upon it, you know, um, at the start of this video, but you need to be focusing on, on getting your clients' results because the better the results you get your clients, the more people they will refer to you, the longer they will stay, and the more you can charge. If you are only getting your clients a, let's say you're spending a thousand ads and you're getting them 2,000 back, then you can't really be charging them you know, 10K or you can't really be charging them 20% of uh, all the profits on the back end, you know, because it's small margins. So if you get incredible results for your clients, you'll be able to also start charging incredible amounts. And that could be a mixture of both. It could be a front end deal, but also a back end deal, which for me is more important right now. If you're getting 20% on the back end and it's a seven figure business, you can scale your agency drastically. And sometimes you only need one or two big, big clients like that to get up to 30, 40, maybe even 50K months and beyond, okay? So gone are the days where you can outsource you know, your, your, your stuff to cheap media buyers on Upwork. You need to either find an A-level media buyer or teach yourself Facebook ads so that you know, you know exactly what needs to be done. You can get the results yourself, but also when a media buyer comes into your agency, you know when that person is doing good and when that person is not, basically doesn't know what he is doing, okay? So service delivery is gonna be priority number one in 2022 because there's too many agencies out there that have no idea what they are doing. And that's because they have learned all of this from a guru that doesn't know what they are doing. So it's the blind leading the blind and you need to snap out of that and really focus on getting your clients' results, okay? So that is basically it for this video. I just wanted to sort of break down my thought process on how you can scale your agency above and beyond. And if you found this video interesting, then let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna know more about Lifestyle Design Mastery 3.0, the link will also be in the description box where you can check out a free demo of the program. You can see basically you know, how you can get results with the program, how long it takes to get results with the program, what the average return on investment is when you get that return on investment, and basically just get a sneak preview of what it looks like to be part of the program. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>